Hey guys, it's Melanie. What is up? I am so excited for today's video because it is kind of a controversial holiday. Some people love Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, whatever you celebrate, and some people like dread it. I'm on the side of loving it. Why not make a whole video out of it? This little vlog, it's gonna be like a confirmation of fun Valentine's Day things to get you guys in the mood. Thank you guys so much for coming along and let's get started. cute little valentine's day cookies so happy with how they turned out these are like my favorite they're just like thumbprint cookies but then you make them into a little heart and then just fill it with your jam or jelly or whatever and they're so cute and so tasty they're like the perfect e cookie they're delicious but they're also adorable by far my favorite i make them even when it's not valentine's day and then i also made the little pillsbury cookies that i picked up the other day so now i'm just like showcasing this don't mind the little green onions those are also very cute also don't mind the sizzling in the background i'm cooking up some dinner but i think this centerpiece is so adorable for our kitchen because we actually had an event um last week but they had like leftover flowers so now we have these red roses not usually the biggest rose girl but i think they are so fitting and perfect for valentine's day our middle table arrangement is decorated and ready for valentine's day okay guys you can probably tell by the attire right now doing something fun it's like 9 a.m which i know isn't even that early but it is a lot earlier than okay not a lot but it is earlier than i would choose usually to wake up today it is actually so nice out it's gonna be like 70 and i have been trying to go to the beach i know that this has no business being in this video but i just thought it would be fun to bring you guys along and vlog anyway this is like the little galentine's day portion of this video, I suppose. I don't know. I will see you guys at the beach. the beach with grace is also <laughs> vlogging and yeah i'm having me some grace time we just picked up coffee and we're doing all of this before class which is just such a nice little reminder that there's life outside of class and that yes, you should girl. like see your friends too <laughs> yes. because so much fun and i feel like it sets your day up like really nice too right yeah, like time. i know so we're just soaking up the sun and chatting and having a beautiful full day it's so nice out so guys you may be wondering what i am up to right now these sparked my inspiration i thought they looked really cool something i've been dying to try out since i've been getting into like making more coffee at home is making my own coffee syrup 
and Alex and I love making new drinks and just testing coffee together so I thought it would be cute to make him his own syrup. I'm going to try making vanilla syrup and peppermint syrup to be part of his little like Valentine's Day basket and since this is a Valentine's Day themed video and we love gift giving here and being cute and stuff I just thought I would document it <laughs> because why not? Look at this. Am I doing it wrong? Woo! Oh. I cleaned my little bottles and to my understanding, this is very simple. So hopefully it works out all in my favor. I actually should be studying for a French test, but anyways, all you really need are two ingredients. If you're just making simple syrup, which is just dandy old dandy white sugar, and you're just gonna do equal parts with hot, but not boiling water. You can do this on a stove. I think you're kind of supposed to, but I just watched like a with really short one minute video and they said just to do it in a cup. So I'm gonna try. And then of course, whatever like a additional flavoring you want. So today we have vanilla extract and fermented extract. Okay, so we have half a cup here. I just boiled some water, but I'm gonna wait for it to cool just a little bit. Probably not good. I'm using multiple resources and kind of just combining them together, but I always do this. The video I saw did like a cup of sugar to a cup of water to three teaspoons of flavoring. So I'm just gonna put like one or two. I feel like I like strong flavors. I don't know. Maybe less is better. Hey guys, little update. I finished my two little bottles of syrup. I have not been able to test them yet. They're still hot and stuff, but maybe I'll try my peppermint syrup tonight. I'm not sure, but they look good. It's almost like too easy to be true, but I hope it tastes good. The biggest thing is you're supposed to refrigerate it and Alex comes over a lot. So I'm gonna try to hide it in my fridge, but there's a really, really good chance that he's gonna see it and be like, what the heck is that? I'll let you guys know if he finds it and he'll probably watch this later and laugh. I am crossing my fingers he doesn't. Camp believe i've been buying syrup if it tastes as good so plus it's so cute i put little like matching labels on them that i think are so adorable hi guys what is up i just got home from running a lot a lot a lot of errands i went to pick up some supplies for finalizing Alex's Valentine's Day gift. So I'm gonna bring you guys along because I need to finish it today. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a little little haul and then you will see, of course, me putting it all together. And then all these items will make sense. Main part of his gift, I got him some Lululemon shorts because Homie does not have very many shorts. I swear he has like two pairs. I feel like these will be useful and also we are going on a trip somewhere very warm. So he will be needing some shorts, but they're just plain black ones. They're the pace breaker shorts. I also, I've gotten these for my dad and he likes them, which I feel like is very promising. We also went to Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree is like my new, I don't know, adding it onto the comfort list of Target and TJ Maxx, thrift store, uh, Michael's. It's a place I like, I love actually, because every time I pick up so many items and then I swear my total is like $10, which I just love. I was fully gonna pay like $20 for paper at Michael's. But I got this nice little set here of all the colors I'm gonna need for $1.25. I do hate that it's called Dollar Tree and it's $1.25, but whatever. I also got a sketch pad, but it's just like white paper. These are to make a homemade card because homemade cards are the best. I also got these. Um, I think I already filmed it, but I already gave him a bunch of candy that are like his favorite candies, but I also saw this little tutorial on TikTok when I was scrolling last night of making a flower bouquet and I just thought it was cute. I wanted to try it. So I picked these up. I also personally love any kind of sour strip. So if it doesn't turn out, I'm literally just gonna eat these. So I got two packs because I'm pretty much just gonna need the green and the red, which is unfortunate because I don't really like blue candy, but I'll probably eat it. So not for the gift. I just got some condensed milk because I've been wanting Vietnamese coffee, obviously. Not for Alex, but I'm gonna show you anyways, because 
I don't know, in a little holly mood. Some very basic things from Brandy. It's very tragic, but I or or like I had two basic baby tees from Brandy that I wore all the time. Like a black one, a gray one, a white one. But my down little self, like I cropped them because I was like into super crop things or something over the summer. They shrunk. Now like when I wear them, I swear it's to the bottom of my bra. Like it's so short. So I got these. Not gonna crop them, obviously. Very plain baby tees, one in white, one in black. I still have a gray one that should be fine. Uh, but I don't know where it is. I think it's at home somewhere, unfortunately. And then this made its way into my car somehow. It's just a lacy little black tank that, I don't know, v-neck. Thought it was cute. I've been into the little lake lacy dainty things. But anyways, that was my little haul section of this video. And then we're gonna get into the crafting and the finalizing this gift. Um, but first, I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm like so hungry. Like running errands, I swear, it just makes me so hungry. Okay guys, I just am obsessed with this craft. Maybe double crafts are gonna become my new little thing. Look how cute this is. Love how this is looking so far. I'm so excited. It's also just so quick. Like I kid you not, I made this. Now that I know how to make it, I think I could do it in like five minutes, but it's like a DIY, but also it costs literally two bucks because I just got these candy belts at Dollar Tree. This one didn't turn out so cute, but just like even the colors, even if you're bad at rolling them, like look, when you put them all together, like a little bouquet, like you can tell. Like, show you once I like wrap them up because I'm gonna try to make them look a little like cuter. It's on a white background because I was making a video out of this, but look how cute this little bouquet turned out. I just like wrapped it in some white scrap paper to make it look more like a bouquet, but it's so cute. Okay, so I know this lighting is so bad, but I'm assembling the gift. So I'm just gonna show you guys what we got going on here. I got these little baggies um, just from the dollar store. I I think I'm actually gonna have to use both of them, but initially I just wanted this one because I thought this one was really cute. This one, a little tacky, but it'll do. I just got him some random stuff, which is like, why are you giving this to him for Valentine's Day? But he was really needing tape the other day. So I got him some tape. More like gag, like jokey, but also very practical thing. I got him some measuring cups because we often like cook and bake at his dorm. I also got him a spatula, which he does own a spatula, but I like told him to buy this one and it's actually like the world's worst spatula. Like it was so bad. And he was trying to buy this and I was like, oh, get that one. And he got it and it's so bad. And then this bag, I put this in a Ziploc because I didn't want to attract ants because there's an ant issue in Malibu. It has his favorite candy. I also have the Lulu shorts that I'm just going to put in there as well. And then I also have the syrup, but I think I'm just going to add it in one of the bags here or there. So right now we have our two bags. We are on the final step which I find as one of the most fun parts. And that is of course making a homemade card. I have been making homemade cards since as long as I can remember. So of course I'm gonna make a cute little one for V-Day. Uh, I whipped out my little watercolor set because I thought this would be fun. But what I'm gonna do to start is kind of paint some pattern on this plain white sheet. Of course, you can also just draw. I'm gonna make like a plaid pattern. Hopefully it turns out okay, we'll see. Realizing I don't really know how to make a plaid pattern. I just finished my card. So cute! I love it. I love homemade cards. I just think they're so fun. But this is my finished gift. I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough just to explain it one more time. Candy rose behave. The little card that has like paintings on it. And then in this first bag, we have the Lululemon short. And I also have more candy in this cute little container that hopefully he keeps because it's kind of girly, but I think it's so adorable and I have a matching one. This one is just like little random stuff. I'm gonna have him open this one first.
Hey guys, I just got back from my little night class. I'm very excited because I'm gonna be doing my nails, which is like the ultimate me time. Love it, but I have to get through the absolute horror of taking off my gel nails first. And especially when I get it done at a salon, it's just like, it's so terrible. It's so much work. I'm trying to find out the best like method of doing so. And my friend Kate actually posted like something about this. You paint it on and it removes your gel nail polish. So I am crossing my fingers and praying this works because I will have cute nails all the time if I can get through removing it, I swear. So I got back, I did some laundry, I made a little matcha and like no matter what, my matcha seeps to the bottom. I know it's because I don't use the bamboo whisk or sift it, which are both like my own fault, but I'm trying to figure out like the best method of doing this. And I saw one tutorial where she mixed it in just like straight to the milk, not with hot water. And it was actually such a fail. Like I swear it tastes worse too. So I'm a little disappointed because all I wanted was my matcha, but it's okay. So semi hitting the spot, but let's try this out. I got it from Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. We should actually read the instructions first. Lightly file the nails to allow the gel to penetrate under the nail polish. Apply gel remover on nails. The more layers your gel nail have, oh my gosh, guys, I'm blind. The more nail gel remover you will need to apply. Leave on for about five to six minutes and then rub off loose. Okay, sounds simple enough. Oh, I need to file my nails, not a problem. Perfect. This actually hurts me to do mentally and emotionally just because these nails you probably can't tell right now because the lighting is actually really bad, which hopefully I can fix in Final Cut Pro. Anyways, these nails, I think I filmed it actually, but I got them done with my mom. They were so expensive because I paid like an extra ten dollars to get the cool magnetic nail polish which was so definitely worth it for the time being because i was so entertained when she was doing my nails and right after and they lasted what is it february now and i got them done in the beginning of january like i guess i don't know actually i feel like my nails kind of grow pretty fast so maybe getting my nails done just isn't the move especially when i have this gel nail kit and i always i always say it but then i just go against my word because i go get my nails done for fun it was a little mom and daughter date so it was worth it i really really liked these nails and they would have actually been perfect for Valentine's Day because they're kind of like a like muted red, like subtle red color, which I like because I don't usually wear super bright nail colors. I'm a very neutral pinky kind of girl, but I really liked this one. But I'm going to show you guys some of the ideas and I'm going to continue to ponder over them while I file my nails and attempt to move this stuff. And there are so many cute heart designs, but I also can't be too ambitious or else my nails will not be looking good. Okay, so I filed my nails down and I open this and someone tell me, is it supposed to look this like grainy and clumpy? I got a bad one. Where I always do this, but I always paint my nails and then once I finish, literally the moment I finish, I have to pee. And then I mess up my beautiful nails and it's actually like the worst thing ever. I also am surprisingly leaning towards doing regular nail polish today for my little manicure rather than gel, just to give my nails a little bit of a break. It feels kind of weird. Crazy stuff going on here. I'm probably giving you way more detail on these nails. Um, not even the nails. The nail removal process than you ever possibly asked for. But I'm hoping it helps somebody out. It just says you should be able to rub off the loose nail polish. I don't, I don't know about this. That is in fact not working. Rub off? Ma'am, what? Well, like some of it. I'm like trying to scrape it. I'm not showing you guys very well at all. Some of it is coming off a lot easier. I guess it's doing something. And other parts, I think I'm gonna definitely have to put more coats of this stuff on. If you got any nail techs in here, I know what I'm doing to my nails is probably like terrible for them. Compared to like how long I'd have to soak it with acetone. Maybe this is worse for my nails than acetone though. Okay guys, a whole like 30 minutes later, I swear taking your nail polish off takes longer than actually doing your nail. But these are the two designs that I've come down to. Both pretty simple. This is option number one. Very cute, very simple. I like the little pop of red. And then this is the other one that I really like. Also very simple, but it's just white hearts. And let's see what nail polish is like. 
I actually have. I'm fully aware that this is a lot of nail polish, but believe it or not, I have so much more than this at home, which is really just a little bit embarrassing. We just need a little like sheer pink. We must have that, right? Ah! We also most definitely do have white, but I think I'm leaning towards doing the little red heart. end to this video so thank you guys so much for coming along with me and celebrating valentine's day i hope your february is going amazing and that you have an amazing valentine's day but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys